Hi everyone, and welcome back to Wondershare Repair It, your one-stop solution for repairing various types of corrupted files, including photos, videos, documents, and more. As always, we're here to address a common technical problem and show you some quick and easy ways to solve the problem. In today's episode, we'll take a look at how you can resolve the name error in Microsoft Excel. If you're facing issues while opening your Excel files and are seeing the error message Excel file name is not valid, then stay tuned because I'll show you how to solve the problem and open your Excel files without losing any data. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any future updates. Now, before we talk about solutions, let's first understand what this error message means and why your Excel file won't load when the error message is triggered. File name is not valid is a pretty common Excel error that many users face, especially when they're dealing with dozens of Excel files on a daily basis. There are multiple factors that can cause Excel to display this error, so let's run through these factors one by one to better understand the problem. The most common factor behind the name error in Excel is an exceeded character length of the file path. By default, you can specify a 218 character long file name, but if the character count passes this limit, you won't be able to open the file at all. It's also possible that the original file path is not compatible with your current OS settings. When it comes to assigning the file path, it's crucial to follow the guidelines properly. For example, an appropriate file path contains a backslash after every directory to separate the root folder from the particular file and represent the hierarchy properly. So make sure to double check the file path and remove any unnecessary characters. And finally, another reason why you might be experiencing the name error in Excel is another user might have moved the file to a different location or renamed it in your absence. So what can you do to resolve the error and regain access to your Excel file without any data loss? Well, first and foremost, try renaming the file to a compatible file name and check if you're able to open it. If the issue still persists, it's quite possible that the root cause of the problem is different. If that's the case, you'll have to implement some advanced repair methods to get the job done. Let's run through some of them now. If you didn't already know, Windows has a built-in repair function that can automatically repair damaged files. Even though the success rate of this built-in utility is pretty low, it's still a great place to start to repair your corrupted Excel file. To repair your Excel sheet, open Microsoft Excel as an application and tap the File menu. Now, click on Open and select the Excel sheet you want to repair. At the bottom right-hand corner, tap the drop-down menu and select Open and Repair from the list. Your system will automatically start repairing the file, and if it's a minor error, you'll be able to access the file easily. Sometimes, recently installed add-ins can restrict you from accessing Excel sheets properly. So if you've recently installed any add-ins, go ahead and disable them and see if you can access your Excel sheet. Open the Excel sheet and click the File button. Click on Options, in the Options window, select Add-ins. Now, use the drop-down menu to select Excel Add-ins and click Go. You'll see a list of all the Excel Add-ins on your screen. Simply uncheck the Add-ins that you want to disable and click OK to save your settings. Now, restart the Excel sheet and if the error was being triggered by a specific Add-in, you'll be able to access the sheet without any interruptions. If you still can't access the Excel sheet, the next step will be to check the file format. Earlier versions of Microsoft Excel only supported XLS format, whereas newer versions from 2007 onwards also supported XLSX format. So, based on which version of Microsoft Excel you're running, make sure you're using the correct file type. If you're still unable to access your Excel sheet, there's a huge chance the file is corrupted. 
If this is the case, you'll need to use a professional file repair tool like Wondershare Repair It to repair the corrupted file and ensure you don't lose any data. Being a full-scale file repair solution, Repair It offers a three-stage process to easily repair corrupted files, including Excel spreadsheets. Repair It will automatically diagnose the problem with your Excel spreadsheet and repair the problem quickly and easily. Here's how to repair a corrupted Excel sheet with Repair It. Start by installing and launching Repair It on your computer and going to the File Repair tab. Click the Add button and select the Excel sheet you want to repair. With Repair It, you can also add multiple files at once and repair them simultaneously. Once the files are loaded onto Repair It's timeline, click the Repair button at the bottom right corner. Repair It will now automatically repair the files. At this point, you can either check the preview of the repaired Excel sheet or click the Save All button to save the repaired sheets on your system. And that's how you fix the Excel file name error and access your corrupted Excel sheets. If you try all the solutions we've mentioned, you won't have to deal with any data loss while repairing your Excel files. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like and leave a comment down below and subscribe to Wondershare Repair It for more videos just like this. I'm Dan and I'll see you next time.